On September 30, 2014, renowned Pakistani jurist, lawyer, and Islamic scholar Mujib Rahman visited Harvard Law School, one of the world's most prestigious universities, to deliver a keynote address entitled Apartheid of Ahmadis in Pakistan. The historic event, co-sponsored by the Harvard Human Rights Program, Harvard Human Rights Law Journal, Harvard Law Advocates for Human Rights, South Asian Law Students Association, and the Ahmadiyya Muslim Lawyers Association USA drew an attendance of approximately 100, including over 20 professors and 30 law students. Professor Susan Farbstein, clinical director of the Harvard Human Rights Program, delivered the introduction, followed by a welcome address by Amjad Mahmoud Khan, president of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Lawyers Association USA. Mr. Khan provided a detailed overview of the state of persecution for Ahmadi Muslims in Pakistan and described Mr. Rahman's extraordinary 53-year career. Mr. Rahman's passionate 45-minute lecture covered a range of subjects, including the legal history of Pakistan's 1974 constitutional amendment that declared Ahmadis to be non-Muslim and the infamous Ordinance 20, which criminalized Ahmadi activities. Mr. Rahman reflected on the writings of prominent judges and statesmen in the United States to discuss the vital importance of religious freedom and a separation of church and state. Commenting on the deeply flawed judgment of the Pakistan Supreme Court in Zahiruddin v. State, in which the court justified Ordinance 20 by arguing that Pakistan had a right to protect Islamic terms the way Coca-Cola had a right to protect its patented formula, Mr. Rahman said, faith is not a commodity for sale. Mr. Rahman described the deadly consequences of the Zahiruddin judgment and explained how a country like the United States would never stand for such a dubious judgment. He said that the United States Supreme Court had originally upheld restrictions of the rights of Jehovah's Witnesses, but within only a matter of a few years, they reversed themselves and upheld the First Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. Mr. Rahman said he hopes the Pakistan Supreme Court might one day follow the example of the United States Supreme Court and reverse unjust judgments. Belief should never be subject to the jurisdiction of courts, he said. Injustice anywhere is injustice everywhere. I am keeping my hope on the intelligence of a future day. That future day has not arrived so far. But I live under that hope. Someday, the brooding spirit of law will awaken in Pakistan also. The keynote speech was followed by a spirited question-and-answer session and a tour of Harvard Law School. Notable attendees included Professor Keisha Ali of Boston University, Professor Raja Gopal Balik Krishnan, MIT, Professor Asad Ali Ahmed, Harvard, and Canton Police Chief Ken Berkowitz. I thought uh, Mujibur Rahman Saab uh, spoke extremely well, Very, um, I learned a lot of uh, details about the background of this whole issue in, uh, in Pakistan that I was not maybe that, I, I didn't know so many specific details and I'm going to look, look up a lot of those things now and I think that uh, we're really honored to have him here and to speak such an erudite uh, and uh, learned and wise and a very humble and I think a very great man and I think that we um, in Pakistan are fortunate to have him. The worst thing that a, that a just person can do is remain silent. Uh -huh. right. One needs to raise one's voice. Um, in terms of Islam and the way it's depicted in the West in this country, I think that moderate Muslims, I think that the majority of Muslims need to raise their voices so that the extremists aren't allowed to speak for all of them. And I think that the Western media is sometimes prey to the extremists. It has to get ratings, it, 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 it focuses on sensationalism as opposed to what the real community is constituted of, and I find this distressing. I have uh, pretty good knowledge on the Ahmadiyya community. We have a mosque and a community, and uh, we've grown uh, to have a great partnership and uh, friendship. And so I have had the basic understanding. Coming here today, listening to the uh, guest speaker, really opened my eyes to how complex, how deep the uh, problem is right. in uh, Pakistan. Right, right. And really, it seems like it's grown worldwide. Sonia Ahmed, MTA News.